Welcome back to The Fame, your source for all the latest updates on your favorite reality TV stars. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of Bryce Bolden, Liz Johnston's partner, and the father of their adorable newborn baby girl, Leighton Drew Bolden. But there's a question on everyone's mind. Is Bryce Bolden medicated or high? Bryce Bolden made his debut on the hit show Seven Little Johnstons in 2019, giving viewers a glimpse into his life alongside Liz Johnston and her family. While details about his career remain undisclosed, Bryce's hobbies include fishing and hunting, which he often shares with his 103,000 Instagram followers. He's not alone in the spotlight. Bryce has a twin brother named Brandon who has also made appearances on the show. Bryce and Liz's love story began in April 2019, and their history dates back to high school. However, as fans have observed, Bryce sometimes appears socially awkward on camera, leading to speculation about whether he's medicated or simply feeling the effects of being in the spotlight. The comments section of the Fame's YouTube channel has been buzzing with opinions. Some viewers suggest that Bryce might be using marijuana to cope with the pressures of fame and dealing with Liz's family, particularly Trent and Amber. It's worth noting that marijuana isn't legal in Georgia, where the couple resides, but the comments shed light on the different perspectives perspectives on Bryce's behavior. Many viewers argue that Bryce is just a simple guy who's not comfortable on camera or around Liz's family. Some feel that the level of involvement from the Johnston family in their relationship is excessive and may contribute to Bryce's discomfort. Whether Bryce Bolden is medicated or simply shy, one thing is clear. His love for Liz and their growing family shines through. As they navigate the challenges of reality TV fame and family dynamics, we'll continue to watch their journey unfold on Seven Little Johnstons. Stay tuned to the fame for more updates on your favorite reality stars. And remember, it's important to approach such speculations with empathy and understanding.